Hey, how's it going? I'm at the Protea Hotel by Marriott, Caradine Beach on Durban's south coast where oh, the sun is always shining, the birds are always chirping. I can't wait to kick back, relax, unwind, enjoy a slice of paradisio. Well, that means paradise. Oh, come with me. <laughs> Caradine is without a doubt the best place to come relax and unwind because you're not too far from the city, but you're also not in the city. But you do have the best of those two worlds. Number one, you've got the beach right there on your doorstep, surrounded by that. The water's always warm there. It's fantastic for a swim anytime. The pool is asking for you to jump into it. But let's talk about the people. The people in Caradine, that has to be the cream for me. They are the friendliest people you will find. And just a short drive away is the very famous Croc World Conservation Center. I'll tell you one thing about this place. It's a must-see for every family coming down here. I'm going to have so much fun. James, how's it going? Good and yourself? Good, thank you. Good to meet you. Well, James, this has been quite the experience for me, just walking here to meet you. I'm seeing crocodiles. I've seen so many interesting birds and I hear you've got snakes as well. You have to tell me, what exactly do you do here? We do quite a lot. We've got a few different types of animals. We've got crocs, we've got lizards, we've got snakes, we've got birds. Uh, you name it, we've pretty much got it. What we try to focus on is uh, sort of rescue and rehabilitation of animals. So a lot of our, our birds, for instance, can't fly or they've got injured wings and things like that. So we take them in. Um, because they basically are not releasable back into the wild. Um, and then yeah, our main focus is obviously to educate the public when they come here and watch our talks and um, gain a bit of compassion for crocodiles. I think crocodiles are a lot of the time seen as quite big, ugly, scary monsters um, when they're actually not really, that they're quite calm and, and relaxing. And saying that, I wouldn't suggest anyone goes to try and touch them. But yeah, they're not as bad as what everyone thinks. And I think you also have quite a few crocodiles. In fact, I've seen a lot of crocodiles. In fact, I never thought in my life I would one day stand this close to crocodiles. What types of crocodiles do we find in South Africa? In South Africa, we've got one species of native croc. That is the Nile croc, which are the ones that surround us right now. Um, they are the second biggest species of crocodile in the world behind the Australian saltwater croc. At the center, we've got four species of crocodile um, or crocodilian. That includes the Nile crocs the West African dwarf crocodiles, American alligators, and then also West African slender snouted crocodiles, which are actually critically endangered. They say there's less than a thousand of them left in the wild. James, are they just chilling here, soaking up the sun, or are they doing this because they want me to feed them? No, not yet. Um, so they're just trying to warm up, get some energy, and then they'll carry on with their day before they, before they get fed. Will I get to feed one? We will be doing a croc feed. Yeah, that should be quite a nice experience for you. Um, cool, exciting. Hey guys, catch you later when it's feeding time. James and I will be there. Okay, James, let's go. Sure. <laughs> I don't know how many of you can say that you've held a crocodile in your hand. For me, that's about to change because I'm going to be one of very few people you've ever known who's ever had a crocodile in their hand. Uh, James, are you ready? Are you ready? That's the question. Well, so James over here at Croc World is about to put this croc. What's he called? This is a Nile crocodile, a juvenile Nile crocodile. Yeah. In my hand. How many people do you know can say they've had a crocodile in their hand? Very few if any at all. I'm gonna stand this side. Okay. What do I need to do, James? You need to open your fingers up like that. Everybody watching, everybody watching, everybody watching. Like this? Yeah. And then what? I'm gonna put him on your hand, okay? <laughs> so let him, let him sit on your palm of your hand. <laughs> okay, you see, it's fully <laughs> safe. You can't bite, you can't yes. do anything. Yes, okay, you can, you can take him now. The restaurant at the Protea Hotel by Marriott Caradine is the perfect spot. You've got the best of outside, but the best of inside as well. I chose to sit on the outside area, and it doesn't matter where you sit, because the food really is what makes the restaurant. Let's put it this way. After the day I've had being surrounded by crocodiles, birds, and snakes, I've worked up quite the appetite. It's lunchtime, and the food is here. Ah, oh, Sisbogiwe, thank you. Thanks. Ooh, let's tuck in.
So, what's a holiday in paradise without some TLC? I'm talking about tender, loving, care. Time for me to treat myself to a bit of a massage, maybe a pedi, maybe a mani. Let's see what the spa has in store for us. Come. Oh, where do I even start when it comes to the massage? That lady, Nakolo, has magic hands. I really needed it. I'd had such a long day. Spending the day with crocodiles is not easy. And so when she put her hands and put in that pressure, I knew I was being transported from here straight to heaven in a matter of seconds. Left feeling so relaxed. The aromatherapy is just what I needed. We're living in one of the most stressful times. But I think for me personally, the job that I do really has me going between provinces and cities. Every single day I could find myself in two or three cities. And it's very easy to get lost in all of that and find yourself so tense and so exhausted. What is very important though is to be able to switch off and take time to yourself. And how I've been able to do that for myself by coming here has been the best way.